Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen rarely get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Krasnodar have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. You're just joining us, we are already on the way. It's one! He's been up right. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Got a shot away! This could fall anywhere! Keeps everyone guessing. Gets up to head it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Krasnodar can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. That's a look and place it in. Strong punch. Gets it back. Has a goal! Hoists it forward. Plenty of endeavour from either side. But not much of it in the vicinity of either goal. Yeah, and it's been like a, a breath of... Goes for goal! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. very well to get to that. Oh, simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. <laughs> 
And it's played forward. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's been lever clear. to get rid well it's a crossing feast here but I'd advise them to keep a variety in their play to avoid being found out and stopped yeah, nobody's going to argue with that it's an entertaining game this both teams have had chances but it is still nil nil Krasnodar keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Forward it goes. Looking to hit the front line. And the half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Well, to review the first half. Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's there's much to criticise. I think they've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Krasnodar clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the open 45 minutes, things really should improve. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. It goes long. Not the cross he had in mind. Has he found his man? Still waiting for the game to take off here. Nil nil. Fernandez. Loose. Gets it back. Not long left, and still we await the breakthrough. Well positioned to make that interception. Knocks it away. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. And it's played forward. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? A really good feat from him. Place it into the box. Hit long and direct. So here comes a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. 
Played in with accuracy. Just starting to get the first signs of rain here. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Nicely measured pass. And he's there to hoof it away. And it's Eremenko. Could be a ch big chance! Sticks it away! And that could well be the winner! Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Rostov get themselves into the lead. Yeah, it's been their hard work that has got them this lead, but I just wonder whether they can keep it up. This may take a toll now. Aimed in towards the centre. Krasnodar need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Roman Eremenko. Roman Eremenko goes looking. So that's it, it is all over. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Krasnodar could still be playing Peter 